Hey guys, I wanted to do a video today on a natural look. This is what I do for running around and the gym. And so I wanted to show you how I did it with airbrush and I also used a couple other products because I love to mix things. So I hope you like the video. Hi guys, and here we go. So I'm going in and I'm taking up my concealer, my NYX, and I'm just gonna cover all the areas that have been discolored or need to be brightened up and I had a reaction to my dog so I got a rash across my face and some breakout because of the weather so I'm just going in and I'm also going to do my brows first I'm using the L'Oreal pencil for a natural brow look I'm going in and just kind of uh, penciling that in and then I'm taking the same concealer the NYX with my matte concealer brush and I'll list everything down below um, and I'm just carving out the, um, the eyebrow so it's nice and clean and sharp and then I'm going in and just touching up around the eyes. Anywhere that's a little darker that I need to brighten up, I put the concealer. And then I'm also going to be using my airbrush today. And I'm using my lighter shade first, my 117 Soft Glow. And I'm going in and popping in the areas where I'd want it to be brighter. My eyelids, underneath my eye, um, around my mouth. That's just where I have a little more discoloration. And then once I do that, I'm going in with my 135 Soft Glow, and it's got a golden base. Um, the products that I'm using for airbrush today are from Dynair, and theirs has, a, like I said, more of a gold. So I'm using that as my contour and going underneath my cheekbone, sides of my face, and wherever I think I want to create some depth. So bear with me, I was also cleaning my gun during this time. I filmed this video really early in the morning and I wanted to test out the lighting to see if I can make the makeup pop. Doing a natural look sometimes with the lighting and the background, it can be really tricky. So hopefully um, this works. If not, I'll try again. And if you like this video, please let me know and like and share. So I'm just cleaning my gun, getting this all out of the way. And sometimes that happens with the airbrush. So I got it all working. And um, I really wanted to do something soft and glowy. Um, sometimes I just want to wear a light makeup with a lash that I can run around. And I do wear makeup to the gym. And I do wear it on air when I'm doing errands. I love it. It's what I do. So I'm not wearing a heavy eye or heavy lip. And even if I did, that's totally my choice. So I hope you enjoy this video. All right. So we're going to go back in. And I'm just contouring now with my 135, and you can see the different colors and how it's adding in a lot more color. It's almost giving more of a tan look, and I use it as my contour. And um, I'll also put in a little blush later on and stuff, so you can see how my eyebrows really came alive by carving them out with the concealer. And now with the, the foundation, I'm just creating a little depth. I'm using my stencil and adding a, a dark peach pink in my eyelid just to give it some color and a little pop and I'm using the extra on my lip and that's what I love about the airbrush makeup you, it doesn't go to waste so I'll, you know I'll just pop it in somewhere else and it kind of blends in so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put in my eyelashes I just use a natural very wispy lash and as you can see I just use my duo glue everything's listed down below and also on my Amazon link to make it super easy you can find all these products and if you have questions, please, um, if it's going too fast or if there's something you want to know about, please comment below. I answer all my questions. So I'm just making sure that lash line is lined up because I didn't do a liner. I'm doing a very natural look where I'm keeping the eyes, as you can see, super natural. I just used a shadow to kind of make it pop in the eyebrows. And sometimes I just really love this look. It's just different. I usually wear like a big cat eye, which you usually see, so it's kind of nice to change it up, especially if I'm going to the gym or running around and I just want a little something to even my skin. And you can see the glue, it will dry clear. I'm sure most of you makeup enthusiasts know this, but if you're new to eyelashes, um, these are super easy to put on. I like strip lashes for myself because I like to change my look. And I use a duo glue, it's in a white and blue tube, and that's also down below, you'll see the link if um, to make it easy for you if you're not sure. Now I'm going in with some black mascara and I'm just coating my real lashes and kind of sealing my fake to my real. And I'm just getting rid of that kind of powdery or that kind of makeup look that covered my lashes and making those eyes come out. And you can see what a difference. And I'm using very little mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Carbon Black, which I love. And I'm just, I don't really even like really do my fake lashes a ton. I just want to get my real lash, get that uh, makeup off of it, and just kind of uh, create some depth and widen it. I'm just going in ever so lightly on the bottom and just going like in a zigzag pattern to bring them out. So I don't really stroke them heavy. I find that doesn't really work for me. And there you go. 
and we'll go in a little bit more. I just like to balance it, so I'll go in and check it. And so that's like a supernatural eye. And I still have a little bit like of coverage I could do on my face, but I'm not going too heavy because I'm just doing errands and I don't want to have like a really bright spot, I guess you could say, on certain parts. But my skin's kind of recovering from the weather and I had a reaction to my dog. I was hugging him and I put my face close to him. and um, So I always have to watch for those things. So I'm going in with a berry by Wet n Wild and just kind of a nice neutral just to give my whole look a little bit of a pop. It's very um, toned down, kind of warm and soft. And I'm gonna add in here a little highlight. This is also by Wet n Wild and it's a pink highlight. I'll list that down below. And it just gives a little pop. Um, the foundation I use is a bit matte, so I like the contrast with a little shimmer, not too much. And I'm just going in with a wider, softer brush and just kind of lightly adding in that highlight. I don't like to do too much, especially for this look, because I want it to be more natural. And I just tap it in and then gently kind of slide it around and I go a little higher I, I I like it that way if you don't like it you can just do a pop and I love mixing products so I used to only do airbrush and for a lot of my clients my photo shoots I do but I love mixing in the occasional like foundations concealers powders I think it's fun and there's so much out there so this is the final look I hope you like it it's a very soft subdued natural look um, it's not for everyone, but it's great for running around, and I just like putting a little pop on the lashes and eyebrows, and not feeling like I'm a slave to makeup when I have to wear a ton of product. So for me, this works. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have questions, please comment below and like, share. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.